All right, let's try this again. Facebook. See you guys. I'm Grant Carlisle, and this is Running Over Coffee. I'm talking about running events and experiences. Um, I'm coming to you from South Bend, Indiana. Yesterday I was over in Elkhart and I talked over events and I usually do events, events back to back, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to do that today. You can see I'm not over at Chicory. I met with um, a local running group this morning and when I did that this morning it was helpful to see what was going on and what wasn't going on and where the opportunities, the white spaces. And so that's I guess where I wanted to talk. Uh, this morning. So if you are tuning in expecting to hear about the races, I'm going to review the same races as I did yesterday. I'll link up here probably below in um, <laughs> um, yesterday's video so you can check out the races and the events in our area. Um, remember um, yeah, I go over even all the places where I find them. So you know, yourself, if you'd like to um, use those same resources, check in, um, either run, volunteer, help organize, promote. Um, heck, if you guys run a company, if you work at a company and you want to tell your boss or your manager or your office manager about an event, they all need sponsorship. Um, In-kind donations if you, if you sell, buy or sell um, any type of food product, bagels or water or bananas, or do business with a vendor that um, does some business in, in food or supplies. Local races need that. They need help with that. Um, you guys are a sign company. Uh, people need signs made and they need banners and posters flyers, those things all have to get made somehow, someone needs to do it, and if you and your company have the opportunity to help out, um, each weekend there's a race. All right. I think there were um, seven in a 60 mile radius around my area, there were um, a couple handfuls down in Indianapolis, um, I can't imagine that your area wouldn't have at least a race every weekend. If you checked out my June rundown of events, you know that June is the second lowest, uh, I'm sorry, in the uh, summertime. June is beginning that decline into the valley in summer. Uh, July then is the lowest summertime month for the number of races. Uh, and then we ramp back up to the fall season uh, and there's another valley in the winter time. But, Check out your resources in your area, find out what races are going on, and get connected, all right? So that is a great segue into what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, I, guess, I guess why I wanted to go over our area. So I have maps up, and um, what I've done is mapped the communities that I know of and I've heard of because I've been asking so when I ask around and I say, where are the running groups? And I say, where do you go to uh, join up with another group? Where do you know where events are? And people tell me these areas, then I should hear about it, right? Um, it would make sense that your area, if you have group runs going on, or if you have a social run happening, or if you have events, people should know about it. So these are the event hubs that I've learned about by asking around. Um, I guess I want to hear from you if you don't hear your area. Where's the white space? All right. I want to hear from you if you know of a place that I don't have listed because I want to know about your area. I want to help you guys bring more people together. People are running and they want the opportunity to join up with you to go on a group run, they need that opportunity and they need the information to meet you there. Every week people are going to run out their back door, or their front door, or their garage and go on their run. So those times when they want to meet up with you and your group, um, do they have the information to go do that? So 
Here are the places I've heard about or know about. Downtown Chicago, um, Fleet Feet in Chicago um, has been a good hub for me to get to know. Old Town, Lakeview, Lincoln Square, South Loop. The Running Institute, big props and dabs to the Running Institute for connecting me um, and showing me a lot of the different places around uh, Chicago. I really appreciate that, that information. Um, CARA, of course, um, Chicago Area Running Association is a big part of that. Um, so those are the big ones that I know of. Um, and that's mainly downtown um, and the Loop area. If there's some people um, around Schaumburg or Highland Park, um, Orlando Park, Naperville, is there anyone in Hammond? Um, let me know, because I don't know yet where you're at. The other group that I'm falling in love with, a um, big shout out to Pat Albert uh, and her group over in the New Lenox, Frankfurt area, uh, just south of Chicago. They have a great Facebook page that's a lot of fun to follow, a lot of fun to um, see what it is they're doing. Um, I do wonder if it, they're separate from the Joliet group, uh, or what the what the story is there. I <coughs> I know of a group in uh, Maryville, Indiana. Um, I've heard of the Cal City Striders. A couple people have posted from that area, though I'm not sure if they have their own group or if they have just themselves going out and maybe meeting with a couple friends. I don't know what organization is there. Um, I don't know if the Maryville people meet up with the Valparaiso people. Are you up in Valpo? Uh, do those people uh, hook up, maybe go over to Michigan City? Any Michigan City people? I haven't heard I haven't heard anything on um, on that awesome area. So myself personally, Michigan City hasn't always had the best crime rate, but it does have beautiful lakeshore. It does have a neat downtown. It does have the mall. It has a lot of awesome stuff. Um, the trails there are awesome. The dunes are right there. So who's meeting over there at, at Burns Harbor in, in downtown Michigan City? You know, we should know about it. Um, let's help get more people over there who are in the surrounding areas. Uh, the Westville, the Valpo, if uh, Springfield and Three Oaks can be a part of it. And that's another one. Go, go north just a bit from Michigan City. Go into New Buffalo, um, Union Pier and Three Oaks, Bridgman. Are any of you getting together? I'm not sure. Keeping along the, the shoreline, uh, St. Joe Benton Harbor. I've heard of a group up there. Um, and I guess that's kind of where the, the high bound might may be. I've heard of a group in Dwajak. Uh, the big run up there, the Stevo. Um, Kalamazoo has a great running area so they, um, Kalamazoo Runners Association I believe it's Gazelle Sports yeah Gazelle Sports in Kalamazoo looks like there's a great following they have a circuit um, they have groups all over town and I'm real impressed with what it is that Kalamazoo has been doing um, big props to the people up there and everyone um, doing the work of putting together their community haven't heard anything about Schoolcraft or Three Rivers, um, Jones, Constantine, Sturgis, Union, Edwardsburg, Niles. I just haven't. Um, I definitely believe that there's something there, there's something going on. Um, I guess what I'm just asking is to hear about it. So reach out to us, contact me, um, and I'd love to get you on the map so that we can communicate with people who want to get connected. All right. Um, there's a Granger, Indiana group. So heading back down to the other side of the line here, um, Elkhart, Indiana has the Two Rivers Running Company. No, I'm sorry, Two Rivers Running Club. Um, Wakarusa has a pretty big following. 
Granger, Indiana. Of course, Mishawaka, South Bend. Um, as far as we know, I've just listed them all out. North Liberty, I don't know of. Plymouth, I don't know of. I'm guessing there's a nice following in Plymouth. Um, Knox. Uh, let's see, Mill Creek, North Liberty, Rolling Prairie, and Laporte. These are all kind of those outlying areas where there's high schools. There's um, obviously elementary schools and middle schools that feed the high school. Uh, those families out there have runners in them. People are getting fit. People are getting out there and jogging. The 10K and the half marathon are the growing distances. More and more people are doing a C2 5K, a couch to 5K. So if you are in one of those areas that I listed that you're not getting much, um, or if I haven't heard of you, you know, maybe, maybe it's my problem. Maybe I'm not asking the right people. I'm asking you now. Um, I want to know about it. I want to help connect the people in your area that want to meet up for a group run or they want to have a beer after their own run, whatever it is. Um, so if you're one of those people or you know of a person who lives in one of the areas, um, tag them in the comments below, tag them down here and uh, let them know that I'm asking, all right? That's kind of my shtick for today because the community around running is just that. It's not a his or her or mine or theirs. It's just a running community because people get out there and run. Uh, so, I know there's a lot of different um, areas I've been talking about. So, the, the Boulder running community, uh, the Frankfurt New Linux, uh, there's a Seattle group, um, there's a group out in Washington State, um, beyond the Seattle group. Uh, the guys out in Utah uh, over on Instagram and the uh, DC people and the New York people um, trying to connect as much as I can uh, and learn from the awesome things your communities have going on so help us out um, if you have something to share share it we'd love to learn um, yeah so running over coffee uh, this week has been uh, an awesome week. It got cool. Yesterday was a cool day. It, it cooled off a lot. So get out there and go for a run. Um, invite someone along. Invite a friend, a coworker, family member, and go for a run. Thanks so much. Thanks to everyone getting out there and helping people get fit, staying healthy. Um, I'm Grant Carlisle, and uh, get out there and run.